The universe of universes is the work of God and the dwelling place of his diverse creatures. God is everywhere present. The universal Father rules the circle of eternity. God is not the mere invention of man's idealism. He is the very source of all such super-animal insights and values. The existence of God can never be proved by scientific experiment or by the pure reason of logical deduction. God can be realized only in the realms of human experience. God is not only the determiner of destiny, he is man's eternal destination. Jesus said, the world is filled with hungry souls who famish in the very presence of the bread of life. Men die searching for the very God who lives within them. Man goes forth searching for a friend while that very friend lives within his own heart. The true God is not afar off. He is a part of us. His spirit speaks from within us. When man goes in partnership with God, great things may and do happen. God is inherently kind, naturally compassionate, and everlastingly merciful. And never is it necessary that any influence be brought to bear upon the Father to call forth his loving kindness. The love of God is an intelligent and far-seeing parental affection. The brotherhood of men is founded on the fatherhood of God. The family of God is derived from the love of God. God is love. God the Father divinely loves his children, all of them. God loves each individual as an individual child in the heavenly family. All true love is from God, and man receives the divine affection as he himself bestows this love upon his fellows. Men all too often forget that God is the greatest experience in human existence. Of God, the most inescapable of all presences, the most real of all facts, the most living of all truths, the most loving of all friends. Of God, and the most divine of all values. We have the right to be the most certain of all universe experiences. Even so, may it be. Amen. <laughs>